So unless you guys have been living under a rock for the last few years, you know that Fortnite montages and gaming montages in general are super popular on the internet. And you guys also know that I make a ton of beginner tutorials when it comes to learning how to edit these montages for yourself. And chances are you probably watch one of them. But today I'm going to be helping you guys graduate from beginner montages to advanced montages and covering some techniques that involve a little bit of experience inside the software. So no worries if you haven't edited a montage before, I'm going to pop up a beginner tutorial right up here. Here that you guys can watch before you get into this one but if you are returning and learning how to edit at that advanced level welcome back let's get right into it all right guys so i am on my pc now and the software we're going to be using for this video is actually going to be davinci resolve so you're going to need to download that i'll have that at the top of the description for you guys to check out but after you have it installed, we're just going to open it up and I'll see you guys once we're inside of DaVinci itself. So once we're inside of DaVinci, it's super simple. All we have to do is go to create a new project and then we're actually going to type in whatever. So for this, it's going to be advanced montages and we're just going to call it advanced. So to start off, there are four main tabs in the editing tab that we're going to be using. We use the edit, fusion, color, and the deliver. But for this one, we're going to be using the edit tab, which is third from the left. You guys know the drill. Go to file, project settings, initialize our project settings here, and make sure that everything is good to go. Now, you guys also know when it comes to montages, what you actually have to set up is you have to import your music as well as your clips before you even start editing stuff. And quickly before I get into the tutorial, I want to quickly mention my brand new 2024 ultimate editing pack that I literally just released. And this pack includes absolutely everything you could possibly need for anything involving editing, content, etc. I have over a hundred different Fortnite presets as well as stuff for your content, TikTok and YouTube automation library, video and audio memes, practice clips for Fortnite, practice footage for editing your own videos, literally anything you could ever imagine. I don't have the link to actually go check it out down below. So make sure to go check it out. It literally costs less than a McDonald's meal. And you're going to be able to make so much money from these different presets to actually edit your own stuff or edit client stuff. But I don't want to take up any more time. So go check it out using the link at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment. And let's get right back to the video. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag in the song we're going to be using. Eric Rapid, Pay Me. You guys see it in like all my tutorials. And then what we're going to do is we're going to import our Fortnite clips. So for me, I'm just going to go to wherever we have the clips saved to. So right here, I'm just going to drag some in. Now from there, super simple. We'll actually drag in our song. And all this stuff I cover in the beginner's tutorial. That's why I'm kind of skimming over it. We're going to need our headset though. So make sure you put that on if you have it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look for that first beat of the song. You guys know how to do that. And by the way, guys, if you guys get confused at any point along this tutorial, chances are you need to go back and refer to the beginner's tutorial so i'll have that in the description as well for you guys to refer to so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut this down so we got this beat and this beat right here and this is where it actually ends right there so basically we have our two main beats and we're gonna be using two of these clips so like you guys know we just got to come through the clip select the in and out points on either side of the marker and then we're going to find the part of the clip where we actually get the kill, which is going to be right here. Boom. Or I guess we should do like right here. Boom. And we're going to line that up right here. And I don't talk about it a lot, but transition points are super important when it comes to stuff like this. So for example, there's always like claps after these beats. So we got to make sure that we're hitting them by ending our clip on those points. So super simple for this clip right here. And that one is good. We're just going to come to the actual kill itself. Boom. Add a marker there. And we'll just line those up with uh, which one there. So perfect. Just like that. Super simple. So uh, for this, I'm just going to be doing the beginner velocity. So to do this, right click, unlink it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down. We're going to unlink this one as well. Right click on this, change clip speed, change this to 50. And we're going to do the same thing on this one here. Change clip speed 50. And that actually adds our slowdown onto the kill. So we can see, boom. Boom. And for this, we're going to click on each of these, go down to our read time controls right here. Optical flow, change this one to optical flow for a little frame blend effect. And that is how you do that. Now, in terms of the advanced impacts, let me show you how to do this. You're just going to drag in an adjustment clip and have it last from the duration from the kill to the end of the clip. And we're going to actually drag in a second one there, adjust the duration. And we're going to go inside the fusion tab. Now I have a couple of free presets in the description for you guys to use. They're on a Google drive, but if you guys want access to all of my presets, I have like 50 different presets for DaVinci. You guys can go pick up an edit pack. And uh, yeah, so we're going to use the pink impact, for example. And 
And once we actually have it dragged in, you guys will notice that it says S underscore. This involves the Sapphire plugin. So if you don't have them already, you need to either buy them, get a student license, or if you guys hypothetically find a way to get it for free, you can follow along with this tutorial as well. Hint, hint, use YouTube. So what we're going to do is we are going to actually press this little expand thing right here. We can see our keyframes. These little notches are all the way over to the right. So we got to adjust those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag them over to the left, kind of just eyeball it and just like that. Now we're going to press this arrow thing again. We can see we were pretty close. We just have to slightly adjust it and that should be almost good. Yeah, I think we are good for that one. This one, we're slightly off. So you just got to adjust this one, but we want these notches to start where kind of these layers are starting and ending. So we can see that impact looks good. We're going to change playback to quarter resolution. Looks good. And we're just going to copy paste this onto the next clip. Now for buildups, I actually did just cover these in a previous tutorial, but I'll just show you a super basic one uh, using the preset that we have. I'm just going to drag it in like this. We're going to make sure it ends on the kill right here. We're going to go into the fusion, go to God, build up shake like this, and we're going to adjust the keyframes. But this time we're going to have it end at the very end, just like this. So you can see that it kind of ramps up. We're going to have this last one actually end here. So the second last frame will be at the very end. So it'll look like kind of like a shake, boom, impact and perfect. That's how we do that. Now for this one, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to add the other one, opacity fade build up. And you can just copy paste this for the second clip. But now on to transitions. By far one of the easiest things you can do, but a lot of people struggle with it. Uh, you're going to drag an adjustment clip and have it kind of split the difference between the two clips, the end of the first clip and the start of the second clip. Now from there, we go into the Fusion tab. We go into the File Explorer and you're going to have some free transition presets that I'll have in the description as well for you guys to use. Um, but for this, we can drag in the swipe right, for example. You also need blur mode curves for this, so that's also Sapphire. We're going to go to our keyframe menu again. Make sure you're on that middle frame. It's very important that you're on that middle frame. And we're going to go to the selector thing, drag the keyframes over. We can see there's one, two, three, four keyframes. Now we're going to line up that third keyframe, the second in the middle with our point being in the middle. So we can see just like this. Now, if we go out and play it, we can see it swipes to the side there and it looks perfectly good. Now I have some in the description that are up, down, left, right, that kind of thing. Um, so you guys will have access to those, but if you guys want zoom ins, rotations, position changes, those are all going to be in my edit pack as well. And that is how you do that. Now for color correction, super simple. Go into the color tab and I personally use color boost. Now you can just straight up go all the way up to hundred, but that's kind of fried. So I'll split the difference normally and I'll go somewhere around like 40, which adds a little bit of saturation. If you look in comparison to the default, which is like that 40 slash 50 kind of adds a bit of a jump to the image itself. Um, and I personally use that. We can see the difference kind of between the two clips if we go back and forth. And if we were to change this one and add color boost to it like that makes a huge difference. Um, so that is basically how you do that. And that's how you edit an advanced montage. But if you guys did enjoy the video and you want to support me, make sure to drop a sub. It helps me out so much. But yeah, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Check out my edit packs down below in the description as well as the other tutorials involved. And I hope you guys enjoy. Peace out.